I've been cutting my hair for about 9 years at this point. And even if this channel is all about learning new skills, I feel like this could be a really valuable skill to teach you. Especially right now. So let's do it. In order to start, you need a few things. First, a hair clipper. You can find a ton of good ones on Amazon. I'm using this one, it costs $40 and it works pretty well. The hair clipper needs to have a sort of switch to micro adjust the cutting length and getting combs that cover a range from 4 to 12 millimeters. You simply mount them like this and you're ready to go. Then you need a comb, scissors, a small mirror, which has to be pink, and a big mirror. I'm gonna start first trimming the hair on the sides. We wanna have a sort of faded look. So I'm gonna cut them shorter around the ears and a bit longer on top. But first you need to wash your hair because this way they are much easier to cut. I'm gonna start by using the six millimeters guide on this area. This guide is four to six millimeters because it can regulate the switch from 0.5 to 2.5 millimeters. So to have six, I'm gonna use the 2.5 here and I'm gonna start. Every time you go up, you also need to go out. Up and out. Up and out. This is gonna help you a lot to have a better fitted look. To see better what I'm doing when I'm cutting the air on the back and on the sides of my head, I watch my reflection in the big mirror using the small mirror. There are probably better alternatives around today, but I mean, this works pretty well. You just have to keep trimming the first area on both sides and on the back of the head. I usually retouch the same area a few times to make sure that all the hair are actually the same length. Also, it is really not necessary to apply a lot of pressure, just remember to go up and out. Now that I'm done with the first level of 6mm, I'm gonna start cutting the second level. And for this one, I'm gonna use the 12mm guide. Now I'm gonna use the small mirror again. If you have long hair, you can use your comb. Nice. Here we go. Perfect. Now we need to fix this line and this line on top. 6, 12. And to do that, I'm gonna use something in the middle. From now on, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna progressively decrease the cutting length. And every time I do that, I'm gonna cover the entire area of the guide that I used before, by leaving out a small bend on top. The current length is 12 mm, so I start by cutting with the 11 mm guide. And then I progressively decrease the cutting length. Always to remember up and out. And finally, the 7 mm guide. This way we fade it from 6 to 12 mm. All right, we are almost done. Now, what is gonna happen? Now I'm gonna use the smaller guy to connect my beard with my hair. This part is six millimeters, my beard is four millimeters. So I'm gonna use the four and then the five. We are basically done on the sides. If you want, you can take a screenshot of this. It has the temporal sequence on the bottom right corner and the guides I use for every area. Before to get to the top, I wanna clean out around my ear and my neck. This is a bit tricky. So if you don't want to end up like this, obviously I speak from experience, you should be really careful. And if you have the opportunity, ask someone in your house to help you out. I'm pretty used to it, so I'm gonna do it by myself. All right, now the top. My hair are dry now, so I'm gonna wash them again. This is so relaxing. You need to grab the first section, pull it up with your fingers, and just cut a little bit off, depending on how much you wanna shorten your hair. Here we go. And then, these are the hair that I cut before. You don't really have to be too precise. You just have to move from section to section and just keep cutting. It is really this simple. All you need to do is move in section by section to the back of your head. That's a nice look. I want this on the back to be pretty short.
and then you're done. I'm gonna take a shower. All right, this is the final result. Getting my own hair saved me money and time during these years. Let me know if you try this, I'm sure you can do it. And I'm sure that everyone in your house is gonna be absolutely impressed. If you're new on this channel, in the last few months I learned pretty difficult skills. Willing with no hands, the front flip, the back flip, two times, and much more. I try to learn new skills every single week, so if you like this content, consider subscribing and check out more videos. See you!